Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ann Scarberry. Today I'm going to be cleaning up this coffee area. This cookbook collection and that wooden box, it's all left over from a Christmas arrangement that I made back in probably mid-November. So it's time to transform it into something that I love, which is blue and white. And here it is, the final reveal right here. But before we get to the fun part, I have to clean up my kitchen. I have some leftover dishes in the sink and I'm going to take you with me as I clean this up real quick. I'm going to be honest, I had my sister over on Sunday and I asked her what she would do with this space and she just kind of started pulling things from around my house and put together an idea. So I'm just going with her idea and if you stick around towards the end, I will show you what her coffee space looks like in her home. I have not always been a morning coffee person, in fact it's just about about eight months since I've started drinking coffee every morning and I like the ritual of it. I just never was in the habit to grab a cup of coffee. So I'm still trying to like figure out my drink, like what, what my go-to coffee order would be. I'm just catching up with that trend. So right now I just like uh, about a tablespoon of sugar and heavy cream just frothed in my frother. And that's it. I used, years ago, I just drank it black, but I'm kind of bored with that right now. So let me know in the comments what your coffee order is or what you make in the mornings. I'm just curious what most people do. I already have these glass containers. I got them on Amazon last year, and I found these coffee syrups at Publix. RTJ Maxx also had coffee syrups, but they did not have any that were that were not sugar-free, and I just I can't do sugar-free. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Can you does sugar-free or artificial sweeteners make Anybody else's mouth numb? My tongue literally gets numb when I taste anything with like aspartame or even stevia. It's, it makes my mouth feel weird. So full sugar over here. I wanted a piece of art behind this coffee station. So my sister grabbed this painting from the other side of my kitchen. It's um, a painting of chocolate gravy. It's a recipe that my husband's grandma always made for him and his siblings um, growing up. 
it's kind of a big deal and it's very special. You only get it a few times a year and it is delicious. So I wanted to make sure everybody had a copy of Grandma Gigi's chocolate gravy recipe. So my friend Jessica, uh, she's a watercolor artist. Uh, she painted this for us and I absolutely love it. I think this area feels so much better. It looks fresh and bright. I was able to fit most of the things I need to make my morning coffee in this little space. I did not get my milk frother over here. There just wasn't a space for it. So that will stay on the island behind me from where I'm standing here. And I'll just froth my cream behind me and that'll be fine. If you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much. It means so much that you're here and watching these videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button, and maybe even leave a comment. That helps YouTube know that someone's watching this and interested. I did promise that I would share my sister's coffee space in her home. Her home is much different than mine. She's in a hundred year old Spanish revival style house that is in the river district of our town and there is that is her gorgeous breakfast room that she actually built that cabinet she got that cabinet from um, a piece of furniture and set it on top of that counter space it is gorgeous I was about to end this video here, but Ella was in the kitchen baking these blueberry and white chocolate chip cookies, and they were so good. I'm going to give you the recipe in the description below. They do not have eggs in them. It's a very simple recipe, and it makes just over, I think she got 13 out of them, but they were delicious. After she took them out of the oven, they weren't quite round enough, so she took this glass and she did the old glass trick to make them nice and round and make them very pretty. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video.